Friends, these are interesting times to invest and very interesting markets to be in. On the one side, you are not seeing the Nifty do too much after you had that bounce in the first few weeks of August. If you compare how much the Nifty has moved from 1st April, it's hardly anything. But I'm sure you will agree with me that if you hold a multi-cap portfolio or a portfolio that favors sectors and themes which are seeing better prospects, those portfolios are doing much better than the Nifty. Stocks are moving faster than you expect. New names are getting continuously discovered. Market fancy is shifting very quickly into smaller companies. We are seeing a broad based thematic rally happen in different parts of the market. And money is waiting to be invested. It's in this situation that we see investor confidence at a high. But macroeconomic factors not looking too great. This is a difficult place to be in because when you see the macros, it's difficult to have a top down bullish view. So if you are holding investment themes which are top down, it makes sense to lighten yourself and try to move out of a top down approach right now. On the other hand, clearly a bottom up approach may look safer if you are able to buy the right investments at the right valuation. That is what we believe is good for our clients at this point in time and therefore we feel that it makes sense to move out of certain themes, move to cash and then get back into markets where we buy individual investments be they stocks, mutual funds, ETFs or sectoral plays on the merit of each idea. So that would be more bottom up than top down at this point in time. But let me place a few things which you must look out for. If India is able to get very high FDI flows in the current quarter and the next quarter, if India is able to get into the debt indices and money begins to flow into debt markets from overseas investors in the next quarter. If the trade deficit does not worsen and gradually improves over the next three to six months. If we are able to ensure that there is not too much of foreign portfolio outflows, then it would be a good thing to stay invested in Indian equities and not worry about any sharp fall. So these factors must be closely monitored because if these factors play out in favor of the Indian economy, then FIIs and FPIs may end up being under invested by the time they get into November, December because they have taken out money, they have not put in too much money. So they could end up being under invested in India, which is an emerging market where the macros may be improving. They would not like to be caught off guard in that manner, which means when they realize that there is a chance that they would turn buyers and active buyers. I think this is what is making people buy a lot of small and mid caps now with the hope that they could warehouse and sell to the FPIs whenever they come. The logic behind this is driven by macros, that's the irony. But the investing is completely bottom up because when the money comes, they feel that the foreign investors may this time look more bottom up to bet. If you are looking at where whatever money has come in from FPIs has gone in in the past few months, you will realize that a lot of bottom up investing has been happening even at the hands of the foreign portfolio investors. So the Indian investor is basically taking cue from that and adapting his investing, adapting his market facing stance towards a bottom up approach. That's why you see the Nifty not doing much, but individual companies doing very well in specific sectors and themes. 
This trend will possibly continue for some more time and we need to keep a close watch on the trend. Thank you for watching this video.